Hey everyone, so while this is loading, this is one of the things that I haven't shown you guys uh, yet. This is the Intel map. It's an essential part of the game. Uh, this is one of the places where you can go online to check and compare how many portals there are in different cities around the world, in different locations around the world, and you will see why uh, this... This is a this is an issue. Although I'm seeing some very interesting enlightened links around around Africa, that's quite encouraging. Um, I'm hoping to get hold of some of these players from both sides. From <clears throat> uh, I'm I'm I have no intention of only contacting players from my own faction. I'd like to contact players from both sides and get them involved in this, and hopefully they can help to. To spread the word where they live. <clears throat> I did mention that I was keen on focusing on this region here, but uh, I have no problem whatsoever if we if we try and get a get an overarching thing going and and really, as I said, the the motto of this um, the motto of this this mission is to bring ingress portals to Africa and. As you can see, in, in Northern Africa, there's already quite a bit of activity, but it's it's also nothing compared to what we see in, in Europe. Unfortunately, it's still loading. Um, it's nothing compared to what we see in Europe, um, in places like China. India also has a very high portal density, and the U.S. is just... Um, yeah, I mean, the place is just littered with, <laughs> littered with portals. So I'm going to just show you what I was doing, what I was just doing in the in the park when I was playing. I'm not going to wait for it to load. It takes a while. And uh, I'm, using an, I'm using an old laptop. I think you can, uh, those of you who have any tech skills will know from the way that the operating system looks, you'll already be like, huh? <laughs> Yes, I made it look like I mean it's Windows XP, but yes, I made it look old on purpose. <laughs> uh, so this is the city where I live, and already you can see just you know from a high level that there in the area there are lots of portals taking long to load because there's so much data. Um, so I'm gonna try and zoom in. I should have probably gone straight to my suburb, but you know what? It's all part of the. This is also a bit of a learning process for me, if you guys haven't noticed. I'm, I'm not a prolific YouTuber. I don't usually make these videos. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that they're not all that boring. <laughs> but here's my amazing city of Düsseldorf, best city in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> um. So once again, just a point to note is, you know, when you play, you are going to be broadcasting your actions to, the. I mean, look, anyone around the world can see what you're doing, but just be aware that you are broadcasting your actions to anyone else who is playing the game. They won't know who you are. They can't identify you personally unless they know you and you guys have met, but it's something to be aware of. Keep safety in mind at all times. Right. Uh, this is where I was playing, and here you'll be able to get a better view of what I was talking about when I said uh, multi-layers, right? So a single layer field looks like this. It's a, it's a light color like this, right? Um, here you can see these fields that I've made are a little bit darker. And that's because I've layered the fields. These are two layers of fields. I will take some time to find some multi-layers around the world that we can look at together um, because these are very small obviously and on a very small scale and you can see this is I, I haven't done a great job of linking this um, I sh should have really carried on but as I say grown-up responsibilities uh, but you can see from from the portal density in Dusseldorf I mean this is I made a recording in this area I think it's called let's let's look at high portal density. I made a recording in this area. I think I actually was at the I think I showed the Neander here here. Let's just give you Oh my. Oh it's not happy with me. Mühlenstrasse. Oh my sense of orientation is 
somewhat off. Yes, here we go. The Neander Kia here. I showed this in the video, and uh, if you look at the let's look at high portal density video, you'll see what I'm talking about. So the Intel is very useful because you can support each other in the game. Uh, if someone is on the field, uh, you can follow their actions in Intel and guide them, give them advice, support them. When people build really big fields, I mean, if we zoom out, hopefully we'll have some. I mean, in the Dusseldorf area, they usually the, the Enlightened usually has s some multi layers in the in the Dusseldorf area. Uh, are there any today? Unfortunately, I don't think so. But I'll keep zooming out until I find one because someone must have some multi layers somewhere. Uh, that's a that's a an example of one, but I wouldn't call it a I wouldn't call it a an impressive example. No shame. I mean, look, the person obviously worked very hard for that. Ooh, we've got some enlightened action going on over here. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. You will find people who are very loyal to their faction and who are horrified you know there are probably some enlightened players who are sitting there horrified that i'm saying that an enlightened field is a beauty um, but as far as i'm concerned the game doesn't work unless the two factions are at least balanced when when as a resistance player when when my area was dominated by the resistance i had nothing to do because anytime there was anything to do somebody else got there you know dashed out and ran for the portals and and it was it got a bit boring i mean i think i even stopped playing for a while and then the balance shifted and enlightened became more uh let's say active in my region and as a result i had things to do so i quite enjoyed it so this is what I want to show you. The layers can get very deep. Obviously, the people who did this probably drove to these portals, um, but these are massive control fields uh, that earn, they contribute to the regional score and they earn a lot of MU. I know this this regional score looks skewed in favor of the, the res I should have probably given you guys an intro to that, but that's for another time. Um, the regional score is skewed in favor of the resistance, but they're also scoring times, and that's why I don't want to go into this. Their 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 cycles and their checkpoints, and yeah, well, it's a little bit more complex than I'd like. But here is here are layers so deep that you can't even see the map properly. Uh, these are a lot of fun to make, but it takes a lot of effort, a lot of planning, a lot of coordination between people. You have to physically exchange keys, and then the players still physically have to go to each of these portals to play. But you can see that, you know, these are this is several layers uh, deep. I mean, it, I I can't I can't see exactly, but like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. It looks like. I mean, it could be more because I'm 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 only counting the portals over here and. They've clearly got a good configuration here, but that's yeah. We'll discuss fields at another, in another um, recording, especially at this high level. So that's uh, cooperation within a country. Uh, the links that I showed you uh, at the start of the video when we were when we were looking at Africa, um, that's collaboration across across multiple countries you know um so i think i've already mentioned that you need a key from a portal to link to a portal which means someone from saudi arabia or oman uh retrieved keys from ghana and gabon and stood in these countries and linked to these portals but there must have been some contact or communication between the people in these regions uh, so th 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 this game has the potential for massive international collaboration. I mean, the same applies to obviously all the other countries here. I mean, look, there's links between Egypt and, for example, the south coast of Italy. Players, there must be some exchange of players there, but these distances are not quite as great as this distance here. I mean, that's that that is quite impressive. 
so that's Intel. Uh, I hope I've given you a nice overview. I'm, you know, I mean, I don't have the, I don't have the, this, as I said, this is not my work laptop. I've got work on the go on the other laptop that I must get back to. So I'm going to wish you guys a good day. I hope it's, I hope this has given you a bit of an intro. Uh, checked loading data. It can't, yeah, it's, it struggles with the Europe and the general Eurasia area because there's a lot going on here. <laughs> um, and everything is taking place in real time. So if you guys have enjoyed these videos, the, these introductions to the game, please subscribe, please like the video, please share, tell your friends, get active on social media, promote the cause, and I'll see you guys very soon, I'm sure. Bye!